Hello, rock people. This is Dave, the geology dude. Today, I would like to show you one of my favorite museums. It's the Fort Jones Museum in Fort Jones, California. This historical society building was built specifically as a museum, and for that reason, the outside walls of the museum were purposely built to showcase rocks, minerals, and ores from the Siskiyou County area. Additionally, the unique museum walls include gristones, a cannonball, mortars, and pestles, and many other unusual rocks for building stones. Because these stones are located on the outside of the building, they are available to see any time of day, whether the museum is open or not. The building stone includes igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks, but many unusual minerals and rocks are there too. The igneous rocks include pegmatite, granite, rhyolite, cyanite, obsidian, dacite, pumice, and tuff. Sedimentary rocks include conglomerate, sandstone, and various fossiliferous rocks. Metamorphic rocks include gneiss, schist, marble, amphibolite, serpentine, greenstone, actinolite, and soapstone. Other rock types include petrified wood, jadeite, jasper, copper ore, wonderstone, which is chalcedony, ferrocite, and quartz. There are multiple gristones that consist of milky quartz from Paris, France, a grinding wheel that is Berea sandstone from Ohio, and rain rock, which is a distinctive rock with indentations on the rock surfaces. Obviously, these rock types are almost never used as building stones, so you may want to test your skill by trying to identify this large variety of building stones. However, note that pyrite minerals can easily weather into goethite, which is a type of rust. For this reason, weathered ores that contain pyrite can be easily located on the outside wall of this museum. One example is to the left of the museum door. Weathered yellowish-brown streaks of goethite extend downward on the walls of the building from these ore-bearing rocks, and then discolor the stones below. Obviously, this is a historical museum too. There are 2,500 square feet of exhibits, including many photographs, clothes, tools, basketry, and many other materials related to Native Americans, American pioneer life, military, and mining. The variety of rocks, both inside and out, is amazing. The inside of the museum contains a large number of additional rocks and ores. This stone archway is an example. Note that it has some pink rhodonite on top. It is a good thing to have some rock samples like this inside the building. If exposed to the elements, the pink color of the rhodonite would change to black, and then the beauty would be lost. If you happen to be driving through Northern California on Interstate 5, don't forget to check out the Fort Jones Museum. Fort Jones is between Redding, California and Medford, Oregon. It is only 20 minutes off the interstate highway from the Wairika, California exit. The museum staff will be happy to welcome you to this unique structure. I thank the Fort Jones Museum for letting me take pictures to use in this video. The museum is open from Memorial Day to Labor Day, although private visits can be arranged in the off-season. Well, that's it for today. You can find many amazing rocks, even on the walls of buildings. Don't forget that geology isn't rocket science, it's rock science.